Hello guys and what is going on? Welcome to this very quick and easy guide to using ChatGPT to create your meta descriptions. This saved me so much time and so much money and I'm going to show you exactly how in this video. I'm going to be using the platform again as usual but you can just use ChatGPT for free without using ChatGPT for premium version. The only problem with that is that you basically, if you're in Italy, first of all, you can't use it. And second of all, if it's full, you can't get on it. So I actually definitely do recommend using the platform for this. What I want you to do is I want you to click on chat. I'm going to leave it on chat GPT 3.5 turbo in this particular video, just because I don't think meta descriptions necessarily need chat GPT for. In the system prompt, I'm going to write, you are a digital marketing assistant working for isuit.it. isuit.it is a multi-brand store reselling um, high quality, oh my god, high quality Italian and Neapolitan tailoring brands. Um, we offer free global shipping for all orders over three how do I do the euro sign? Okay, there we go, 300 euros. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. What you can also do is you can say best practices for meta descriptions, and you could just put these in, okay? So create uh, unique descriptions, relevant information, program programmatically generate descriptions. Why would that be on there? And I'm going to write actually to increase uh, CTR, for example. And let's just copy this and put it in here. Uh, best practices. Okay, so now we're going to go on here. We already have the meta title. The meta title here is just the product. So this is uh, snake leather accessories. My colleague has incorrectly written the word accessories which is extremely annoying i'm now going to have to change all of that myself you might not recognize what this is this is magento which is what isuit is built on don't recommend magento particularly but it's doing a pretty good job um so all i do is i take the title and i put it here and i'm just going to press submit and this will write a meta description perfect so, bang, put it here, meta description, and then press save. That's it. That's one meta description done. That normally takes two or three minutes. As you can see, it just took a couple of seconds there. Let's click here. So, Italian designer striped blazers, and you just do add message and press submit. I will tell you right now, if you do this manually, you will want to cry. This takes so long and writing the same thing over and over with slightly different wording is probably the worst part of SEO, okay? Yes, I know there are faster ways to do this, but currently this is the fastest way that we can do this. The main reason for that is that we can't automatically upload stuff like this to Magento. Yes, I know it's probably possible, but with our current setup and with everything else that we're focusing on, this is the quickest and fastest way that we have found to do this. Now, what we are doing is we're creating basically collection pages on Magento or category pages on Magento. And the idea, oh my God, the idea is to continue this huge growth that you can see right here. And I want to just quickly see if this is having an effect. This isn't necessarily completely relevant to this video. But I do want to see if what we're doing is working. So I'm going to do a page and write clothing. All of these will have clothing in the URL. So if I click on this one, Italian designer wool jeans, for example, click on meta tags. You can see that the canonical is clothing, jeans, wool. Are any of these ranking? Only kit on jeans is still the only one that's ranking. But we still need to do this process, so I'm very, very glad that I have ChatGPT to help me do this. The beautiful thing about the system prompt is this will not change, okay? So it'll never, like the old ChatGPT or Jasper used to do, it used to randomly change euros to dollars, for example, which is actually a huge mistake for us, huge mistake. 
and it used to do things like lower or higher the amount. The amazing thing about using the platform or the playground for ChatGPT, I can't believe I'm doing work at one o'clock on a Saturday night. Um, the amazing thing about using this is that it will not change. Whatever you write in the system is 100%, okay? So it won't change. If you're wondering how you can make meta titles for this, I basically just write Italian designer and then the product that we're trying to sell. It's not perfect, but I have a feeling that after a while, this will start to have an effect. I do have some proof of that, actually. If I click on ID and make it go, let's go on the first page, make it go down instead of up. One of the first ones we made, or one of the first ones I made, was Kiton Jeans. And as I showed you before, Kiton Jeans is actually one of the ones that is ranking. This is the one that's been on for the longest amount of time. Yes, I know I'm not in an incognito window, but if I search for Kiton Jeans on Google, you can see that the page that actually comes up is this page here. This previously, Kiton Jeans, we did not have anything on Google for this, okay? So that's why this is so important and that's why I really, really wanted to make this video because the more unique content you have on your website, the better. However, I've just noticed that here, Vista Negozio, which means um, view of shop, Kiton Jeans has something different to the rest of them. And considering Kiton Jeans is one that's ranking, that makes me think that maybe I need to change them all. But anyway, that's not relevant to this video. This will save you so much time, it's actually crazy, okay? There are faster ways to do this depending on your CMS, but if you're not technically gifted and you have to create a lot of meta descriptions, this video was for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you super soon with some more content. Peace out.